In this week's Apple Pie, we start by looking at different types of blindness. Starting with the lens of the eye, this can be damaged either by physical damage such as a cut, very painful, or by a condition known as cataracts. A person with cataracts may see something like this as they walk around. Another way that blindness can occur is if the back of the eye or retina is damaged. This can be caused by a very bright light destroying the receptors of the retina, such as looking at the sun or looking directly at a laser light. This might make your vision something like this. Thirdly, damage can be caused to the nerves carrying the messages from the eye to the brain. This type of damage could be hereditary, i.e. from birth, or developing in later life. However, the greatest cause of blindness in this country is a condition known as diabetic retinopathy, which causes progressive damage to the retina. The retina is the thick layer of cells at the back of the eye. When light is detected by the cells, messages are sent to the brain to interpret and form the image. Fortunately, only people with diabetes can suffer from diabetic retinopathy. But as diabetes becomes more common, so more people are at risk of developing it. Diabetes is a disease that interferes with the body's ability to use and store sugar. Too much sugar in blood causes the blood to become thicker, the blood slows and the blood pressure increases. If left untreated, this can cause the tiny blood vessels called capillaries to break and leak blood, which in turn damages the retina. Unfortunately, the symptoms of diabetic retinopathy only occur when damage is irreversible. However, treatment is available to reduce bleeding in the capillaries behind the eye, so it is important for diabetics to have regular eye tests and checkups. Diabetics are also encouraged to monitor and regulate their blood sugar levels, effectively to reduce the risk of developing the condition. A well-balanced diet and keeping your weight steady is the best way to ensure that you don't develop type 2 diabetes. And if you don't develop diabetes, you cannot develop diabetic retinopathy. You may like to think about what you feel a well-balanced diet is for you. On that positive thought, back to the studio.